the forehead of your robot. THX Creepypastas. Where do I begin with this? I'm here to say that this so-called fad of all creepypastas out there is a big problem. To say the least, it ruined me and my channel. I'm here to say that making all these THX creepypastas would entirely ruin the spin pasta fandom, but now it did. They still even sometimes feature Tex, the THX robot, killing everybody who is often afraid of him and his logo, or most likely cursed versions of well-known THX logos, which heavily copied Toby's work. We already know that Ronvan's THX creepypastas had just become a meme in the fandom, even with other people deciding to make their own THX stories, when I first narrated Ronvan's stories, which it's breaking me so hard. There were these stories I was deeply forced to read, which might have not so scary references to classic creepypastas, cameos of cutesy shows I've never watched nor heard of, which I regret hearing since I narrated some of Brian's THX stories, and even starting with them being short and lazy with bad grammar. THX pastas around the spin pasta fandom are not scary anymore. It is just a fad that entirely ruined the fandom and my channel, since I got into random media-related creepypastas. But what's worse is that these so-called requesters forced and begged me to narrate those THX pastas. To be honest, they're not frightening anymore, and most likely insufferable to narrate with other voices. Lost episode or media creepypastas have now evolved from hyper-realistic blood and gore, and demonically possessed cartoon characters murdering everybody, to the infamous Tex robot killing all humanity, just because they were afraid of him and the so-called THX logo. I will not narrate any more creepypastas relating to THX, and Tex in his murderous antics killing all humanity, and including those of cartoon characters. As I stopped, I won't come back to that disastrous and insufferable fad. If I kept narrating media-related creepypastas that had nothing to do with THX and Tex, everything will be back to normal. I don't take requests from individuals anymore, even when they decide to request me a story that is hard and insufferable to narrate. To be honest, narrating creepypastas with text-to-speech is quite messy, but I'm still used to it for my future videos. Thanks for listening.